All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 21. All right. So at this point, we should be able to submit the form. However, we might not, we, pardon you, we might notice not much happens. Yes, not too much. All right, so to make the form more interactive, we're gonna add the required attribute to the input elements in the first field set. So now if we try to submit the form without filling in the required fields, we will see error messages. All right. Uh, okay, so let's go over the required attribute while we're at it. So required attribute HTML right there. And for the definition and usage, the required attribute is a Boolean attribute. And when present, it specifies an input field must be filled out before submitting the form, just like it said. Uh, the required attribute works with the following input types, text, search, URL, tell, which is telephone number, email, password, date pickers, number, checkbox, radio, and file, all right? And basically for the syntax, we're gonna have input and then the Pardon me, and then just the word required in there. So let's uh, choose this. Let's uh, take this right here with the space while we're at it. And we're gonna put it inside of the inputs, all right? So we'll just put it at the end right here uh, after text or whatever the last quote is inside of uh, input. And that should do. Also, we don't need these, honestly. I don't know what kind of antiquated version of HTML this person uh, trained on, but we do not need those at all. Although they're gonna be there every single one after this, but regardless. Uh, so now we've got these required in here. And if we see like this, if we try to submit it without anything in there, it'll say, please fill out this field uh, for all of them pretty much. So let's uh, check the code, looks good. And like I said, we do not need those slashes. So it looks good and submitting. All right. Now we're on to step 22 and we'll see you next time.